Hi everybody, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. So I'm coming back with the video I did last time because it has been 24 hours and now everything is perfectly dry. And it the raised areas are still pretty much raised. It hasn't flattened out. It's still very fluffy, whether it's the one with the baking soda or the other one with uh, just the, um, what did we use? Uh, ba oh yeah, baby powder. Uh, sorry, I've been doing so many things in between, I just forgot. So both of them are perfect. And after 24 hours now, it's completely dry. It's not only dry on the surface, but also underneath. So it's really good. Whether you choose one or the other, uh, it's absolutely perfect. And it's really raised. I hope you'll be able to catch this up because it's absolutely gorgeous. That's why I'm trying to put this um, in real life, it's really dimensional. So I love them both. So I did other trials here and I've put some more on paper and they're already to completely dry. So I've got a few samples here and we're going to try to use brushes and also some watercolor um, on it to see if it's going to resist, if, if it's still going to be porous or not. I'm not going to use acrylic but more watery colors and here are the same um, patterns that I've used through a stencil in different areas. This one is really well raised, this one less and I've used mica powders here and it works really fine just on the top. I haven't put much because I kind of knew it was going to react perfectly. So it's a light green and a light blue here. But I'm going to use again some brushos. I have done a test here with brushos and I think it... But this one was when it was not dry yet. So I wanted to see how it was going to work out on something that it was completely dry. So I'm going to take this first example and see what's going to happen. So I've got some brushos here and I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of water. And to see if it's going to do some resist or not. So let me come and zoom in a little bit. Whoa, that was quick. Sorry about that. Woohoo. Okay. And because I don't know, since we have put glue on here, I really don't know how it's going to react. And I'm going to use, I only have three colors, light blue, dark blue, and pink. So we'll go with that. I haven't found much here for a reasonable price. And we see, we'll see how it's going to react. So a little bit more. Oh, that's nice. I think I need to put a little bit more. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. I think I'm going to help it with a paintbrush. So it's not acting at all as a resist. I'm even wondering if it's going to be reactivated. It seems not, but it's not uh, adding at all as a resist. But I really like the look of it, and I could spread it out a little bit more and pink, and do some, you know, purpley colors. It's really nice. This is a very fine tip. I'm going to use this other brush here, something a little fatter, and I really like it. They're almost metallics. They're really nice. So with brochures, you will find it really interesting. I like the effect. That would be a really nice background. And as you can see, it's really raised. You can see all the details here. I really, really like that. I like the flag here. We could do a lot of things. It's the first time I use these uh, these uh, stencils, and I will be making some more because I have a uh, die cutting machine, a uh, Cricut maker, and. Um, I just tried to gather, I don't know if you have a Cricut Maker, but right now with the new uh, software they have, I couldn't um, import all my other cartridges, so I'm waiting for that to be able to use it again and do beautiful stencils, but these are already really nice. So it's working with brushos, and I'm going to try with also this paint. So they come in a variety of brands. These are from Art Philosophy. It's a very good brand. And these are watercolors, but metallic. And I'm going to see how it's going to work on this as well. So I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to clean up my brush. And let's go with a gold. I love gold. So let's start with a gold. Let me bring this in a little bit and maybe try to go just in between here 
and maybe helping it with a little bit of not too much so I could put another paint on top on the flowers and maybe just put a little bit more paint in here that would be nice just you know in between because it's raised enough so I can put a lot of water let it dry and then put another color just on top that would be nice let's see need to work fairly quickly because it is porous but not that much at the same time it's quite interesting to work with because the color is still spreading around much more than it would do of course with a watercolor paper and you still can have some control on where you want to put your paint and with the spray it's going to spread out and I think it's really interesting. Look at that. Of course, it's not dry yet, but you can see here where it's a bit um, drier already. But it's not reacting as a resist. I thought it would because of the glue. Maybe it could react as a resist if it would put more glue on it, in it, probably. But I really like it. Or you can just paint it like this. That would be nice, too. And I'm not going to put more water, and I'm going to paint with another color on top. Okay, let's see. I'm going to blotter this up a little bit. I don't want to have too much water here. And what about this pink color? These are really nice. I'm going to put it right here. A bit more water. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to come back down instead of putting my paper up. Oh, that's nice. So, you can really color it. It, it makes me think a little bit like um, Plaster of Paris. Even though it's, it's not going to chip away that easily, I think. But it is porous. But at the same time, you've got some time to spread it with water, make it move along. So it's really interesting to do it as well. And it is so cheap. I just wanted to show you that there were other ways to use it and mix up your colors. I'm going to use, um, what else? What are the colors? Oh, this one must, must be really nice. It's between pink and um purple it's funny yeah it's it has a more uh, metallic look to it much more than the pink one actually and I can come back here probably and put some some of this color in it and see how it works yeah of course you can mix the colors oh that's really nice so think about coloring it. You know, when you use like this texture paste, it's interesting to have different effects. Color maybe the leaves green. I'm doing, I'm not trying to do anything special. I'm just drawing a few things on. Of course, acrylic paint would work really nicely, but look at this. You can have a lovely pattern. I wish I would have another metallic in this palette that would be a bit darker. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one here. Oh, that's a nice blue. Oh, really nice. And it's not that light, actually. I thought it was going to be lighter than that. I haven't used them yet, but that's nice. Wow. This is bright and colorful. Oh, I love it. I'm going to do half of this leaf, and I'm going to come yet a little closer again. I'm just going to do a few spots here and there, and I'm going to try to put, this one is a bit bigger, I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit, uh, let's see, I'm going to go back with this color. And I'm going to put some of that color here. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice and on this flower as well and you don't have to be neat with this 
but because the these areas are quite raised, you can be quite precise and still going very fast and having a lot of fun. Of course, I mixed a lot of colors here. You could do just two or three. But here, look at this. And it dries fairly quickly. It's buckling up just a little bit, but if you lay it flat, I'm sure it would be nice. You can also speed up the process by using a uh, hair dryer. But it's really nice. Look at this color. I, need a, I think I need a little bit more gold around here. So you can come back over, add more. Really nice. So you're going to have fun using this DIY paste because you can really do a lot of things with it. Of course, acrylic paint. I'm not playing with acrylic paint because acrylic paint goes on everything. Porous, non-porous surfaces. So there would be no surprises. But here, I love what watercolors and brushes are doing. Um, I'm going to make maybe another try just on this area with some alcohol inks and see what happens as well. All right, sorry about that. I was looking for my uh, alcohol spray, but it took me too long to go and take it. Let's see if I spray it on here. Hmm, yeah, it, it goes into it and it's, uh, I think I'm not doing it quick enough where I should maybe spray first. Yeah, if you spray with your alcohol first and then spritz it, first spritz it and then put a little bit of that in it, that's really nice too. That's what I think we would we should do first. And I'm very being very generous here with the spray. Yeah, that's much better. See how it flows? Oh, I, I like that. It makes a very different look as well. And you can still go on top later once this is dry and the alcohol has all evaporated. You can still go on top and paint with your with all your colors or maybe use acrylic paint on top, but it's really nice. So different things can go on here. Lay it flat to make it really dry flat. And of course, you can speed up the process. I wouldn't maybe use a... Um, uh, a heat tool with the alcohol right now just in case it's going to evaporate too quickly if you need to work it out a little bit but this is nice I'm going to add while it's still wet here I'm going to see if I can add a little bit of this yellow and it still can move along a little bit it's not not as uh, not ugly at all a little bit more yeah I like this Oh, that would be a really nice pattern. I'm going to add a little bit more. And put some yellow in here. It's not a very bright yellow though, but it's really nice. I love the look of this. See how many things I've used here? Brushos on the other one. Um, watercolor inks and it's really really nice of course I'm gonna like this one much better because it's more vibrant even with these watercolors I could really come back and add more on top and it absolutely gorgeous so you can have a lot of fun and you're going to make wonderful backgrounds but with the alcohol uh, inks look at this you have even more um, patterns in I love the way that the colors move with the uh, with the alcohol it's really really nice let me go and try to go over this to see if I can still put a little bit of watercolor on top I I know it's not completely dry here I can see it's very shiny but let's take a look I'm gonna go maybe with this uh, this color here and I need to I really need to go and add more water or maybe I should wait for it to be completely evaporated before adding something on top I'm not sure it's really going to be the two different paints are going to be missable together but it does work it's not bad and again if you don't want to use uh, this kind of uh, watercolors, you can use acrylics and go on top. It's not bad, actually. Let me come in. I would wait for that to dry. And because it's alcohol, it's going to dry out very quickly. 
But I think it's really nice and I enjoy mixing things together. That's what we call mixed media. When you mix different kinds of uh, textures and different kinds of paints and have fun and, you know, just discover. Don't be afraid. Oh, I love these colors, these different shades of greens and yellows and darker and browns that we're putting on top. And then when everything is dry, put a little bit of more gold to make things even pop out. But it's it's really, really fun. So this um, these two different textures that we've used last time, uh, last time, yeah, last night for me as well, but last time, you're going to be able to have a lot of fun and doing so many things. I just want to give you so, very simple um, examples here, but just that part I was going to say is just beautiful. And you are going to make wonders. And it's so cheap, uh, cheap and fast to do. And uh, yeah, you can do it at the very last second. It's been about maybe four days now that I have it. So let me take this one. I'm going to open it in front of you. Okay. So this one is the one with um, baking soda, and it's absolutely perfect. See, it seems very uh, smooth on the top, but then it looks very grainy, and absolutely you can, it's been at least, yeah, four or five days, and it's absolutely perfect. Uh, there's still no smell, it hasn't gone uh, bad, but I'm gonna use it to make other things, probably to cover up some boxes. And the other one is the same. The other one is the smoothest, the one with the baby powder. And this one is a heavier paste than the other, but it's absolutely perfect as well. And really, I think the secret here is the airtight container and that you're gonna be able to keep them quite a long time, even though there's uh, glue in here. I'm quite surprised, actually. I would have think it was going to get harder because of the the glue, but no, it's working just fine. And you are going to make absolute, I would imagine this on a box. Imagine you have an old box or even a frame somewhere that you don't really like or has been damaged. Well, you can use one of these two paste that we made, put it on top and look what you can do. With just a little bit of alcohol inks, a lot of spray alcohol and let things flow, move your box around. I think this is what I'm going to do because I just, am, I'm in love with all these different colors that we have here. And it's shiny because of the metallic look of it and it's so bright and summery, oh gosh. I don't know what you think, but please let me know. But I am totally in love with the results and the fact that it's so easy and economical to do. And you can find these so easily wherever you live. So very quick video, but I wanted to share this with you because I'm so happy. I haven't done any try before this video. I tried it in front of you and I'm really, really happily surprised. So please give me some thumbs up if it was inspiring for you and you think you're going to give it a try as well. And uh, leave me your comments below if you have other great recipes, DIY things to do uh, with very simple items like this. And cheap, economical, you want me to try, uh, I will be happy to do so and share this with you. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so you get all the notifications when I make, uh, uh, post other new videos and also share on social medias. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.